Thank you, Pastor Rob. Some 35 years ago, I had lunch with Dr. Bob Henry. The reason I remember that lunch long ago is simply because at the end of, the sur end of our lunch, Dr. Henry laid a challenge on me. He simply said, Lauren, make every day count. Every hour is important in your life. Well, you know how life goes. <clears throat> because Dr. Henry said, you know, time goes faster than you realize. And that's true. <clears throat> I, I, I got to be 55, and then I was 60, and 65, and 70, and 75. I'm in my 80s now, and I look back upon my life, and I begin to see that all of my life, everything I've done, is there any gift from God? I really am now and always have been living on grace time. I didn't deserve it, but God gave me a wonderful family, friends, special people, opportunities that many others could not have, but I was privileged to be a part of that. So I could echo the theme verse from this campaign, which says, God is able to accomplish <clears throat> infinitely more than we would ever dare to ask, hope, dream, think, or imagine. How true that has been in my life. It may be in your life also. Last week, I was at a retreat in Vermont, the state of Vermont. It was at uh, the Weston Priory and there were four different services held during the day and the retreat kind of centered around those times when we would meet with the monks and the brothers and they would sing the liturgy and their songs. And there was a song that kind of ran through the whole retreat. It simply was, change and be transformed change and be transformed. And then added on by the Spirit of God and how God works and moves among all of us. And I can simply say that, that God has blessed me and my family in marvelous ways. Family and strangers, friends and those who are crushed by life, somehow they need the gifts that my family has had and I want to pass them on, to pay them forward. Early in our marriage, Roberta and I uh, established a will. Many couples do that and that's very important. I remember over the years we revised the will and we wanted to be very intentional. Yes, we wanted to provide for our children and our grandchildren. And we wanted something special for this congregation, for Luther Theological Seminary, where I was trained and encouraged. I wanted some to go to the ELCA. And above all, I wanted some of our gifts to be passed on to Rosecrans, dealing with addiction and mental health issues, people who are crushed by life. And I wanted some also to go to my third or fourth home since coming to Rockford, and that is the Rockford YMCA. What a wonderful agency that is. I wanted our gifts to be used to pay forward the gifts God has given us to be passed on to others. So it's very powerful that we have the privilege to be a part of this campaign. Make every day count, change and be transformed. Live hopefully, we pray. Loving God, out of your grace, you have led us through a rich history of following Jesus, building relationships and serving others in love. By your Holy Spirit, lead us through this continued journey of generous faith for today and tomorrow as we reach beyond ourselves. Out of your gracious abundance, let your blessings flow. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.